Hey there YouTube, it's Kurt here, and uh, yesterday I gave a video about using midis and using electronic drums in recording rock albums, and whether or not it's feasible. Um, and the conclusion I came to is that it can be, and it's all about, it comes down to your writing. So today I want to give you an example of when this music has been used in a real live album. Um, Easy Drummer, in my opinion, is so good, uh, the sound is generally so good, that uh, a lot of people that haven't really been able to tell the difference between our drums and real live drums, because we wrote the arran arrangements as best to be a real drummer as we possibly could, and then we mixed and mastered it appropriately. So a lot of it comes down to when you're using Easy Drummer, it's how you mix and master the recordings after you record them on in your DAW. So without further ado, I'm going to give you a quick example of one of our songs and the chorus and how these drums have blended together. So hopefully you heard the drums stick out in that one, and uh, hopefully you approached it with um, as unbiased ears as possible and tried to hear everything that was going on. Now again, we kind of mastered it to be uh, more commercial than a lot of other stuff we did, but in the end it turned out pretty damn good. Um, so again, what, you, what you'll see with uh, Easy Drummer is that the recording that was done with Easy Drummer and how it's record actual recorded drums is that uh, it sounds better than a lot of older recorded albums. And what it comes down to also is that uh, really a lot of it comes down to the strength of your song, your overall song writing. So a lot of the drums that sound shitty uh, or relatively shitty in like 80s or even some 90s albums, um, it doesn't, it, like people still listen to it because it, at the end, people listen to them for the great songs that they were played on. And the drummers were really good, but the recording techniques and the drum kits weren't as advanced as they are today. So that's the main message that I want to bring to you um, when considering using uh, either Easy Drummer or any other drum machine out there. But you can end up with actually really impressive results. And I actually want to <laughs> challenge someone, if you can find any audio, um, of like a famous punk rock CD and match the drum machine and Easy Drummer to and just re-record over it and see how it sounds. That would be very interesting. I'm a big fan of My Chemical Romance and uh, if you go back and listen to the Black Parade, um, chances are those drums were put on a grid, meaning they uh, were put in the DAW and then mixed so they had perfect timing um, even if the drummer made mistakes. So. And a lot of it's just really high intensity drumming. There's really no change in intensity with the drum drum hits. So you could probably record an entire punk pop album and have it sound like a punk pop album when you're using an electronic drummer. It sounds crazy, but like our technology uh, enables us to be able to do this. So a lot of it comes down to your songwriting. Um, but yeah, uh, another... Devin Townsend has been known to use uh, Easy Drummer for some things, and he actually has some cool material. Um, so, if you want another example, feel free to check that out. I'll leave the description, link to our album in the description. Um, so, you can check us out. We appreciate it and listen. But uh, for this video purposes, it's all about the drum, mi drum mixing. So, feel free to leave any feedback. But I'm Kurt from the band American Time Machine. <laughs> feel free to check us out. So, peace. A cigarette is on your plate. A hydrogen goes through